Good morning, Southside. Good job. Um, we are gathered today to celebrate Veterans Day. And I'm going to tell you a couple of quick little facts about Veterans Day. Um, Veter Veterans Day occurs on November 11th every year in the United States in honor of the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918 that signed the end of World War I. It is also known as Ar Armistice Day. Veterans Day pays tribute to all American veterans, living or dead, but especially gives thanks to living veterans who served their country honorably during war or peacetime. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. Great Britain, France, Australia, Canada also commemorate the veterans of World War I and World War II on or near November 11th. Canada has Remembrance Day while Great Britain has Remembrance Day, Remembrance Sunday, the second Sunday of November. In Europe, Great Britain, and the Commonwealth countries, it is common to observe two minutes of silence at 11 a.m. every November 11th. And on every Veterans Day and Memorial Day, Arlington National Cemetery holds an annual memorial service. The cemetery is home to the graves of over 400,000 people, most of whom served in the military. So from these facts, as you can see, we are here to honor all of our servicemen and women who have served our country to protect the United States. So at this time, I would like for our student council to come up and help with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Of the Swear family. 
Jordan Hagen, Louisiana Army National Guard, father of Avery K. Childers, Barbara House, Louisiana Army National Guard, aunt of Avery K. Childers, Daniel Coleman, U.S. Marines, uncle of Lindsey Coleman, J.M. Robeek, U.S. Marine, grandfather of Emma and Lillian Reinhardt. And last but not least, Antonio Enriquez, U.S. Navy, father of Jasmine Enriquez. Give these U.S. Um, veterans a round of applause. At this time, we have some words of honor by our fifth graders. Dana. Thank you for serving our country. It was probably scary, but you still did it. A lot of people don't realize how much y'all how much y'all do for the country. If it wasn't for you, we would not be here today. We all know you have an outside life. You probably have a family, but you did it for all of us. Veterans Day is a special gift made to honor people who worked and fought in that and risk their lives to protect our lives. Celebrating and participating in Veterans Day shows that you care about people that are veterans and that you have respect for them. Thank you, Nelsie. Carry on. I want to say thank you to my aunt and other veterans. I want to say thank you because they have fought for our way and helped us become a better nation. Veterans and people who serve for the country of the United States of America, I love you. I love you. Abigail. Abigail Dear veterans, I'm so happy that you serve us in our country. Thank you for the year, years, time, tears. I'm tearing up writing this. It's sad writing this. The pain I go through makes me sick. It hurts to know people do this just for me. Just keep up the good work, and if you're retired, thank you so much. I'm so excited for y'all to see this. Thank you very much. At this time, our fourth club will come up and sing. It's a grand old flag. America, 
I've been to so many things. It's my country, the United States, and it means so much to me. Green, green forest. Green, green forest. Having nice schools. Having nice schools. Voting for the president. Voting for the president. Red, white, and blue.